Welcome to our Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at plots in Capture. Plots are created in Capture in the Plots category of the Design tab. This is where you start off with a blank piece of paper layout and add information and views to it. Before we do that though, I want to introduce you to the plot mode of the design views. As I switch to the plot mode, you can see that the fixtures are now drawn using proper symbols for the fixtures based on the fixture type, also including textual information for the specific fixtures. In this project, I've added relevant information to the fixture, such as unit numbers, channel numbers, circuits, and DMX patch. All this information and more appears automatically around the symbols. The plot mode not only helps me preview the actual plot output, but also allows me to make some adjustments. If I enable the plot adjustments in the view, I can move, rotate, both the symbol and the annotative information for the symbol separately. This allows me to clean up tight situations in a plot when it's a little bit overcrowded or I have specific preferences. It is also worth pointing out that there are several properties available under selected items at the bottom under the plot category that all affect the way fixture symbols and other objects appear on plots. There is also a whole concept of plot styles that allows you to filter out specific type of information in a plot. I will not go into that in this episode though. Once we have adjusted the looks of the information we want to print, it's time to go to the plots category and create a new blank plot. Let's proceed by clicking edit. This takes us to the paper layout view. It's good to start by hitting page setup to ensure that the paper size and orientation matches the type of plot we want to create. In this case, the print drive selected doesn't offer a lot of choices but you can select a PDF printer, for instance, for other paper sizes and options. So we could use an A3 landscape layout. Once we've chosen the paper size we want to work with, right-click in the view to insert different insets, such as views, information headers, and plot symbol keys. The contents of the plot symbol key can be configured to your needs by double-clicking on the symbol configuration line. Here we can override the textual information for each plot symbol as well as whether we want to be counting the fixture instances or not. We can navigate and scale the contents of a plot view using the corresponding red buttons in the bottom right corner. As we do that, the scale that this causes can be seen in the properties window here and by enabling the show scale option it can also be shown on the plot. We can also use this to enter a specific scale if we need so. As we have already chosen the size of the paper this is now the guaranteed correct scale as you print to PDF or to the actual printer. The information used for the plot header is partially entered through the properties in the plot editor and partially picked up from the properties for the project in the design tab. It's also the same information that gets shown in the bottom left corner of the design views. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.